So often you hear people say, Māori should get over it in relation to their treaty claims and all the issues of the past. You know, I think sometimes you've got to clean up what's underneath the carpet, otherwise you're going to keep tripping over it. And I think it's our responsibility in this time to complete that job as best we can so that future generations don't end up stumbling over the mess that we've left behind. We can talk about treaty settlements, and that's fine. That reparation is important. And we can recognise that there was a billion dollar cap set in 1994 and that we're now to about $1.4 billion. But really when you weigh that up for, say, 23 days of social welfare payments, it's about the same amount. Or we spend about a billion dollars on our pets every year. Or in the five weeks leading up to Boxing Day this year, we spent $5 billion at point of sale terminals. Or the AMI bailout by the government is well over a billion dollars. We've got to get some perspective around this. And I think the building of relationships is about mana than it, more than it is about money. And you know that when the treaty settlements do happen, there's a sense of fulfilment that comes to many iwi around the country who feel that they've been listened to, who feel now that they have an economic future, that they can participate in what this country is all about in the future. And I think for all of us it's about restoring relationships. And relationships is not just a token thing, kia ora, how are you? I think it's actually getting to know people, getting to know their stories, getting to know what has happened to them, not perhaps you know, the psychological term now is that instead of asking people what's wrong with you is to ask what's happened to you and in understanding what's happened to somebody you can begin to get a better bead on why it is that they feel broken or hurt or betrayed and I think we're at an important healing time in this country when restoration and reparation go hand in hand and particularly there's a role here for the church to rebuild relationships with Māori because often when you look at a lot of churches there are a lot, not a lot of Māori in the congregation. Perhaps we have to ask why that is and ask why it is that our relationships with Māori aren't strong enough that we can stand together because the way for the future is Māori and Pākehā standing together, two agreed, walking together and if it's about the gospel and if it's about the Bible and the treaty we need to understand each other's stories, we need to take the time to listen and that way we can move ahead and really make a difference as partners in this business for the future.